Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you. Yes, you. Ah, let's talk about fears, shall we? So today I'm going to talk about fears. I had no idea what I was going to talk about today, even if I was going to talk about something today. But today, as I'm taking the dog out for a walk, it's uh, what frozen water, by the way. It's like minus seven, minus eight degrees this morning. It's midday, or well, one o'clock, and it's uh, about zero degrees right now. So fears. Yeah, I was just watching the dog not interacting with another dog. Another dog wanted to play with her and she snapped at the dog and because she's not a sociable dog at all. Um, she's a rescue dog, came from a very cruel background when we got when we found her. So it's yeah, understandable that she's not that sociable with other dogs, but um, or people for that matter. But she has so she has fears. She has big fears around other dogs and feels threatened that other dogs are going to attack her and stuff like that so it takes a lot for her to become comfortable around other dogs and um, the same can be said for myself sometimes you know and we all have our own fears right um, you know even those that are super successful in life and you see them on a regular basis on camera looking to be appearing to be very confident and um, super con super achievers and so forth and they may they may well be that um, not to say that they aren't <laughs> all right but a lot of us and most of us I, I would suffice to say is um, or do have fears of some kind we have some some limitation within us and one thing that I've come to understand about fear is that it is the antithesis of love. You know, um, you have love and anything that is not love-based is fear-based. And fear creates a lot of different um, emotions within us that are very limiting to us. You know, they could create emotions of procrastination, um, of anxiety, stress, depression, amongst many other emotions and conditions that are prevalent in society today and i think this is also because most of us are experiencing fear of some kind you may hear in the background um, bombs going off and semi-automatics going and uh, the reason for that is this, there's a firing range there's a military firing range down the down the road here but you know the, the for example the war in europe is causing a lot of fear for a lot of people you know, um, whatever that may, whatever the basis behind that may be, but it's causing a lot of fear for a lot of people. And then, for example, in South Africa right now, my home country, go Springboks, you may, you know, you may know that there's a lot of fear going on in South Africa right now relating to energy and um, businesses collapsing as a result of the lack of energy and stuff like that. You know, I'm talking about energy and as in just basic electricity, let alone fuel and, and so forth. You know, there's and around the world in North America, there's a lot of division happening right now. There's a lot of fear going on, right? But we also have fears that are related to our own personal perceived limitations. We have fears that are very r real to us in terms of what we can and cannot achieve in our own lives and in life in general and in, in our lifestyles. You know, um, and one of for me, for example, I have a I have a very strong fear around contacting people you know I, I mentioned this before briefly but i market a product um for someone who struggles with pain in their life you know like i used to struggle with i used to struggle with a lot of physical pain in my life but for me to in order for my business to grow for any business to grow it's important that we reach out to people right so i have a fear around that because you know historically speaking you know, I'm, I'm a very shy individual i wasn't always a confident um go get a type of person but i was i come from a, a shy you know, my history is you know, i was an introvert i still am quite an introvert i'm more of a situational extrovert <laughs> something i learned from one of my teachers in, in the industry that i'm involved in and um, about the term con situational extrovert but before i digress you know we have these we have these limitations and they are real to us in the time it's not necessarily not necessarily to say that they they are actually real but to us they are you know and it's it's something that we can all overcome we can all overcome our fears because there are just limitations that, you know, there's an old acronym which is sound, may sound a bit cheesy, 
but it's it is what it is and it's <laughs> it's it's pretty relevant i think is that fear is a false expectation appearing real and we have these beliefs in us you know a belief is all all a belief is is that it's it's an idea that is that is um practice is thought of over and over and over and over again as being real you know and then we, we form these beliefs around these thoughts that we have about certain things and then those beliefs can either empower us or they can limit us and if it's an empowered belief it's centered around love it's heart-based but if it's a fear-based belief then that is something that's inside here all right and we need to uncover what it is we don't need to necessarily go back and look in our history and pine or um, go through a whole range of emotional uh, memories and so forth but we need to face that fear we need to confront that fear for what it is and it's just a it's, it's just a reality that we've created ourselves and if you look at life like this as well i believe is that if you look at everything around us nothing is physical 99% of what we see and experience and touch and feel is space. All right? 99% of what we see around us is space. Even the space between my fingers, okay? When, my, when I feel my, my fingers touching each other, my finger and my thumb touching, I'm not actually touching. It's just space in between. And that force between the space this, this, that's that covers that space is what's making me feel as if though I'm touching my finger with my thumb. Okay. Now, if we look at that as energy, which it is, and everything is energy, nothing is actually real for what we what we look at. It, we we could actually we could actually be in a simulation right now, which, personally speaking, I believe we are in a simulation. But we could be in this in the simulation. And therefore, everything is an image. It's an illusion, so to speak. All right, it's just energetic illusion, and we create it in ourselves, whether it be personal or as a mass consciousness or subconsciousness, for that matter. But we create what we see around us, and we can create our own futures. And you may have heard that being said by some people that you can create whatever you believe you can, you want to create, and that's true. Because I've touched on this as well again before in the past, is if you have a desire for, to achieve anything in your life, no matter what that desire is, you have the ability to achieve it. Otherwise, you would not have had the desire in the first place. Okay? Because whatever you want to, however you want to refer to it, being God or the universe or source, whatever, the maker, however you want to refer to what I'm talking about, that was instilled within you by the maker, by your God, by the universe, by source, whatever. That, that was instilled within you, that talent, that ability for you to achieve something that's been put into your, into your very being, your essence. And therefore, you have a desire for it. It may come later on in life. It doesn't have to be a desire that you've had all your life through, through childhood and so forth. It could be a desire that is, a, is sparked within you through something that's happened in today's activities today's experience or tomorrow or yesterday or last month or last year okay and you've all of a sudden this desire of, is burning within you if you have a desire for something you can achieve it you don't necessarily know how to achieve it now and that's not important what is important is that you follow through on that desire so for example this product that i market my desire is to impact people's lives all over the world through the product Okay, because I know that it, it ninety seven percent of the world population they need what I provide. Okay, so my desire is to impact as many people around the world positively with this product because it does what it says on the bottle, and I know that from, from scientific proof and evidence. But even with all of that, and with my own background and knowledge in terms of what I know about health and wellness and so forth. I still have a fear, I still have a limitation within myself. And that limitation is preventing me from achieving the things that I really want to achieve in life. So I've got to get through that fear one step at a time. Sometimes it, it may just happen today that after having doing this video, all of a sudden I've overcome that fear. But I've also, again, if I don't confront it, if I don't take it head on, 
then I know it's never going to happen. I'll never overcome that fear. It's not going to just happen by magic. I've got to make, make the effort. I've got to put the effort into it. I've got to take the action in order to overcome that fear. And the same applies for all of us. So if you have a fear in your life, okay, then the best thing that you can do is identify what it is, what it means to you, okay, and then also how can you overcome those? What are the first action steps that you can do to overcome those fears or that fear, whatever it is? So right now as I'm talking to you about it now, and I'm, I'm realizing, coming to a realization for myself as I'm talking to you, and I can feel the emotions building up within me. You know, it, it's, it's a fear that I guess I've had ever since I was a kid. Um, you know, having grown up as a kid, I never had a lot of confidence. I wasn't, I was chastised a lot. I was bullied a lot. Um, I was looked down upon all the time. You know, even amongst my peers, I had very few friends as a, growing up as a kid. You know, I was abused in many ways, psychologically, emotionally, physically. So, you know, uh, there's all of that, but I don't want that to be my story for the rest of my life. Because if that, if that, if I continue with that as my story, and my reasoning why I can't do what I what I dream to do, what I have a desire to do, then I'm going to be holding myself back, and I'm going to let that fear win. And I cannot afford to let that fear win, because my the story I want to create is far more powerful than my past. My past has led me to the point where I have identified, and has given me the it's given me courage in the past. It's given me a lot of tools and the abilities to be able to do what I do as a coach and so forth, having gone through that as a kid. But I know that unless I confront that fear every single day in some shape, form or way, at some level, I will never truly realize what my dreams and aspirations and vision is for myself and my family and the people around me, everyone that I come in contact with. Because I have a purpose on this, on this planet in this lifetime. And that purpose is to impact people's lives in a healthy, mannerable, ethical, moral way. Yeah. So what is your fear? What fear do you have? Perhaps you have been given an opportunity to do something different in your life. You've reached a stage in your life, maybe in your 30s or 40s, and something new has come about. But you have a fear of, of, of taking that on because it's something completely alien to you. Or it's it's out of your scope, your comfort zone. Okay. Perhaps you have a fear around interacting and engaging with a certain individual or individuals. Perhaps you have a fear of just being yourself, which I see so many people having a fear of today. Just being themselves. Admitting and being vulnerable enough just to be yourself. What is your fear? And can you overcome your fear? Do you believe you can overcome your fear? Because if you struggle to believe that you can overcome your fear, all right, then that fear is going to hold you back and that fear is going to win. Then perhaps what you need to do is talk to a mentor or a coach, somebody that you trust implicitly that you can talk to about overcoming that fear so that you can help to build the confidence and the belief within yourself that you can overcome that fear. Because we can all overcome our fears. Those fears are just stumbling blocks. They're put in our path in order to help us to grow to the next level that is imperative for our own evolution as a soul, as a being. We are being. We're not doing. We need to be. And that's one of, one of the aspects of being is overcoming these things, these limitations of us within us. So I trust that helped. And if you have a fear and you're not sure how to, how to overcome it, message me. Don't be shy. Just message me. And if not me, reach out to somebody else that you know and trust, perhaps. Okay? But reach out to somebody and talk to them about a fear, your fear. It doesn't matter who you are. If you're a man, woman, it doesn't care. Who cares? If you have a fear, you can't do it on your own. Not everything. You can maybe overcome the majority of that fear by yourself. But for the most part, you need somebody to talk to. You need somebody to be there for you in some level. So speak to someone. All right? Until I see you next time, I look forward to your engagement down below here in this message. And if you need any assistance, any help, any tips, any guides, guidance, reach out to me. I'll be happy to help. Speak to you soon.